Welcome to this session on existing homes requirements for the 2020 Vermont Residential Building Energy Standard or ARBIES uh, presented by Efficiency Vermont on behalf of the Energy Code Assistance Center. This session will cover specifically the Chapter 5 of the 2020 ARBIES um, uh, which applies to existing buildings. This session does not include the full content of compliance methods or requirements for uh, being compliant with the 2020 ARBIES, but only specifically calls out the individual requirements for existing homes. Additional training sessions are being provided by Efficiency Vermont that cover the full compliance methodology and requirements for the ARBIES code and can be referenced uh, in conjunction with this requirement for existing buildings. The scope and application of Chapter 5, Section R501 applies to alterations, repairs, additions, and changes of occupancy and or use of existing buildings or structures. Section R501 of the Arby's Code applies to additions, alterations, and repairs of existing buildings, uh, building systems or portions thereof, and these components shall comply with sections R502, R503, or R504 of the full code. Unaltered portions of an existing building or building system are not required to comply with the code and connections or repairs or maintenance of existing mechanical systems do not constitute an alteration to that system. Section 501.1.2 covers the three different compliance approaches or pathways that are allowable for meeting the 2020 Arby's for existing homes. Um, those pathways include the prescriptive packages or prescriptive tables for compliance, uh, the ResCheck software tool methodology for compliance, or the Home Energy or HERS rating system for compliance. This session will not get into the details of those different compliance methodologies and the pathways for being compliant with the 2020 Arby's by one or each of these different methods. Uh, information on that can be found in the full code training also being provided by Efficiency Vermont. So the application of the requirements of the existing home section of the 2020 Arby's does not require uh, the removal, alteration, or abandonment of, or nor continued use and maintenance of existing buildings or building systems that are lawfully in existence at the time of adoption of this code. So meaning that uh, any systems or buildings that are in use do not need to be altered to meet the new components of the 2020 Arby's, only when they have been altered repaired or incorporated into an addition or change of use. Any of those uh, approaches or um, building modifications also need to adhere to the uh, guidelines of the International Residential Code, International Building Code, International Fire Code, Fuel Gas Code, and the others listed on this slide. There is an exception for historic buildings under strict definition in section R501.6. So uh, that can be referenced for those exceptions for existing buildings. Section R502 covers additions requirements. In general, section R502.1 for additions. Uh, additions to an existing building, building system, or portion thereof need to conform with the requirements of new construction without requiring the unaltered portion of the existing building or building system to comply with this code. So basically this means that any addition needs to meet the full requirements of new construction um, in accordance with sections R502.1.1 or R502.1.2. Um, any addition shall be deemed to comply with the code where the addition alone complies, where the addition and the existing building comply with this code as a single building, or where the building with the addition does not use more energy than the existing building. 
Section R502.1.1 goes into detail about prescriptive compliance options for additions. Uh, essentially, in summary, what this means is that any addition needs to meet the full requirements of uh, the new construction compliance tables, prescriptive tables, um, in sections R402. Um, there is an exception uh, where unconditioned space is changed to conditioned space, where a UA or U factor assembly value um, determination can be used as an alternative to the prescriptive compliance. New heating, cooling, and or duct uh, systems that are part of an addition are also required to meet the compliance um, with the new construction sections of the code. Connections or repairs to or maintenance of existing mechanical systems do not constitute an alteration to that system. And similarly, uh, domestic hot water systems that are installed as new service for an addition also need to meet the new construction requirements of section R, R04, R403.4. Section R503, alterations. Similarly to uh, additions, alterations to any building or structure need to comply with the requirements of the code for new construction. Alterations shall be such that the building existing building or structure is not less conforming to the provisions of this code than the existing building or structure was prior to the alteration and also consequently uses no more energy than the existing building or structure did prior to the alteration. Alterations to an existing building, building system, or portion thereof shall also meet the requirements of the code as they relate to the new construction without requiring the unaltered portions of the existing building or building system to comply with the code. To reinforce the message of the previous slide, building envelope assemblies that are part of the alteration need to comply with the requirements for new construction of section R402 um, of the base code requirements. One caveat is that uninsulated or under-insulated any exterior building assemblies such as walls, floors, or roofs that are filled with insulation need only to fill that cavity and are not required to meet the R value requirements of table R40212. So essentially any exterior assembly that is exposed during an alteration needs to have that cavity filled with insulation of an unspecified R value before that assembly is closed back up for completion. There are building envelope exceptions under section R503.1.1. Um, the following alterations need not comply with the requirements for new construction provided that the energy use of the whole building is not increased. These include storm windows installed over existing windows, uh, existing ceiling, wall, or floor cavities exposed during construction that uh, provided that these cavities are filled with insulation, as previously noted. Um, any construction where existing assemblies are not exposed. Uh, Re-roofing projects do not need to comply. Uh, roofs with insulation, without insulation in the cavity and where the sheathing or insulation is exposed during re-roofing need to be insulated either above or below the sheathing as well as there being exceptions for uh, alterations made to existing single pane windows. Section R503.111, uh, replacement windows or fenestrations, does require that any new or replacement window meet the U value and solar heat gain coefficient requirements specified for new construction in table R40212. Uh, there is an allowance for an area weighted uh, average of the U factor solar heat gain or both for all replacement windows as an alternative to show compliance. Section R503.1.2, heating and cooling systems. Again, following the same theme as additions, uh, new heating, cooling, and duct systems part, as a part of an alteration need to comply with the new construction requirements um, in sections R403 of the base code, as well as R404. Um, connections or repairs to or maintenance of existing systems do not constitute an alteration to that system. Um, and same, again, applies to domestic hot water systems.
systems need to meet the requirements of the new construction code. Section R503.2, change in space conditioning. So uh, the transformation of any unconditioned space into a conditioned space uh, shall be required to be brought into full compliance with the code, meaning uh, meeting the requirements of new construction and the prescriptive table requirements of new construction um, with the exception given here um, of the ResCheck uh, performance alternative in section R405. Section R504, repairs. In general, repairs uh, as defined in section R504 and reference in R501.3 uh, are exempt from the RB's requirements and as noted below in section R504.2. And finally, section R505, change of use or occupancy. Essentially, this section applies to buildings that are being transitioned from uh, unconditioned or unoccupied spaces uh, to be used now as conditioned or year-round spaces. This does change the building definition type of some of the building definitions that are stated in the RB's code, such as hunting camps and summer camps. So it does impact the uh, change of use um, and future use for those building types and what is required for compliance with the RB's code. So in general, uh, change of use or occupancy does require that the building or the portion thereof meet the full uh, requirements of the new construction provisions of the RB's code with the exception of the simulated performance option or res check option um, can be used as a compliance method in place of the prescriptive requirements in chapter four. Again, this session just specifically called out the requirements of existing homes within the 2020 Vermont Residential Building Energy Standard. This does not stand to substitute the full rule of the 2020 Arby's Law. Um, and there's a lot more uh, that does apply to the application of the code to existing buildings. So uh, I recommend reaching out to um, either the Energy Code Assistance Center or Vermont Department of Public Service for more information and go to their websites for um, content and uh, Robbie's handbook and the full language of the law, which is available um, at the Vermont Department of Public Service website. The 2020 Arby's Energy Code Handbook is also available, which provides um, guidance and overview on compliance method and methodologies for meeting the full uh, requirements of the Arby's rule and will be available through the Vermont Department of Public Service. There is an important distinction between the Arby's rulebook and the Arby's handbook. Whereas the uh, 2020 Arby's Handbook is a guidance document for the application of the full Arby's code and has a lot of great information and details in it to assist in complying with the code. The actual full rule of the Arby's Law is provided through the Arby's Code publication um, by way of the International Code Council at the link listed here on this page. Um, so that should be referenced as your full uh, rule for compliance. And the 2020 Arby's Handbook can be found and available through the Department of Public Service um, and their contact website listed here below also. So thank you for taking the time. If you have further questions or would like more information, please do reach out to the Energy Code Assistance Center or feel free to reach out to me directly. Thank you.